All right, man, let's talk about the biggest reason Showtime boxing is going away. I highlight this in my live stream. So if you've seen that, then you already know. But um, I've touched on it briefly, but I said I was going to do a video um, for a reference point. So thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notification, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop video. So simply... It was put to me like this, you know, I knew this for quite some time because there's been rumors that they're going away now. It hasn't been confirmed officially. Uh, Espinosa has come out and spoke on it and basically said that, you know, he basically took a sneak this at Rick Glazer. And he basically said that we've been hearing these rumors since 2018. We still here. We're going to continue to put on the biggest and best fights. He nor confirmed nor denied it. Um and of course he won't don't nobody like espinoza conor mcgregor was the first one to call him a fucking weasel uh dana white don't like him um some people in the media he speak speak and stop too um you know like him you know i know you know a person he broke a promise to to get into a fight i mean you know at the end of the day um you know and i can confirm this too and i've said this before that these fighters you know i just know of pbc i can't really speak on top rank matchroom and etc. And I and I and I expect them to have the same uh, veto power. But what I can say is I know for a fact that a lot of these fighters um, at PBC they watch the internet, they watch all that stuff, and they tell them not to let you know certain people into the fight. So they go to Kelly Swanson, the Magnum Media, and y'all get mad at Kelly, or y'all be getting mad at Al Heyman. Okay, y'all get mad at them, but you know. These fighters going to uh these fighters going to to uh they're going to the you know the media people and telling them to ban certain YouTubers. I remember uh Devin Haney got mad at Jeff Mayweather for picking against him going over to Australia, and he had a very logical explanation for it. Now there could be some underlying beef there. That's what I can say. So we don't know that. But you know, this is why a lot of these dudes on YouTube don't have an objective opinion because they feel like they're going to mess up a pipeline or they're going to mess up, you know, the money line to be able to reach out to some of these dudes. I'm going to keep it a bean. I'm going to say, I'm going to say what I feel. And I'm going to tell the truth. It ain't no hard feelings. It ain't nothing personal. You know what I'm saying? You know, some people look at it as personal, um, you know, with social media and image and, you know, opinion, you know, people can sway your opinion. A group of fans can sway a public opinion, just like a group of fans sway public opinion about Earl Spence beating on Terrence Crawford ass, you know? Then when reality came in and we seen what exactly happened, um, everybody was mortified. All the you know, all the casual fans was mortified. I tell you who wasn't mortified, it wasn't Errol Spence fans. They knew it was they knew that ass was gonna get taxed. You know, they knew that ass was gonna get taxed. They knew it for a long time. But nonetheless, you know, they couldn't they couldn't figure out um a way to make somebody else a star. And Mayweather's the biggest reason that it's going going away. You know, Floyd Mayweather is the biggest reason that Showtime boxing uh is going away. And, you know, um um Leonard, Leonard, Leonard. Um um I, I told them Leonard that um uh, um uh, 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 Al Hammond um uh, um he didn't want to pay. And and I'm explaining to you how it's explained to me. All this is alleged. Now, pretty much what happened was, you know, Showtime was willing, basically, it's like a Giannis deal where you sign Giannis and you give his brothers a job. That's exactly what it is. And in this scenario, Errol Spence is Giannis. I mean, Floyd Mayweather is Giannis. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, Floyd Mayweather is Giannis. You know what I'm saying? That's exactly what it is. Floyd Mayweather is Giannis. And the P the show PBC is you know the uh, the brothers. I don't know their name. No disrespect. They the brothers. They the brothers. You know, and that's what they are. And you know they was you know they was brokering deals with the PBC off the strength of Mayweather coming back and fighting. That's what they was doing. They was brokering deals with the PBC off the strength of Mayweather come back fighting. That's what it was. So Mayweather brought so much Mayweather brought so much money 
to to you know Showtime that they was willing to keep throwing money into an open pit known as PBC. So that's how much when he fought Logan Paul, he was fighting Railroad, Canelo, and whoever else he fought, Andre Berto, he generated so much money. He generated so much money that uh you know what I'm saying that they was cool, you know, with him fighting once a year, you know what I'm saying, and generating all that money, and they was cool with giving the uh the money to uh to Al Heyman for Showtime. And was Mayweather, you know, stopped fighting on Showtime, then really that's when the rumors really started, and that's when the relationship began to you know break up because they had nobody else who could generate that type of money. Canelo wasn't consistently coming over there, and he wasn't generating Mayweather type money neither. You know what I'm saying? May, you know he wasn't consistently fighting over there. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, so then again, you you continue to look at it. You know, they tried to make Earl Spence a star, but we all right, we already know what's the biggest way to make a fighter star is to transfer over power. It's to transfer over power. That's what it is. It's a transfer over power. Like Mayweather, you know, Chavez kind of finally passing the torch to uh Chavez finally passing the torch over to uh um Oscar De La Hoya. They tried to get you know Sugar Ray Leonard to pass the torch over to uh 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 to Oscar De La Hoya, but what had happened was um Hector Camacho happened. He beat Sugar Ray Leonard. So that fight didn't happen. So uh so that's the quickest way to transfer power. And, and Mayweather was such a narcissist. And you see so many people, so many people misuse the word narcissist. You know, you see a lot of people misuse that word. And in, in particular, you know, women mis misuse the word. And I tell them, I'll check them on the channel where I speak on this. Shout out. To, I'm going to do a video on, on this and put it in my notes. But I speak on this in my other channel. Women project on men. And what I mean by that is what they do, what they do, you know what I'm saying? You know, they projected on the men like they mess around cheating. They're going to accuse you of cheating. If they uh, are narcissists, they're going to call you narcissists because I don't know if it's a, it's a guilty conscience or whatever it may be. They're very they're 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 narcissists. Trust me. That's why they go around calling men narcissists, calling men liars, calling men cheater. They're the biggest liars, cheaters and narcissists out there. You know. But nonetheless, I digress. Um, but yeah, so when Mayweather stopped fighting over there, um, there was no reason to keep Showtime PBC alive. Giannis was no longer on the team. We're going to cut your brothers and we're going to be done with you. And they never was able to find a superstar to carry the torch. You know, that's what, you know, they even if they did Earl Spencer, Canelo Alvarez, it just wasn't going, it wasn't going to save them. It wasn't. It wasn't gonna save him. It wasn't enough. Listen to me. It wasn't enough. It was too late. You know, and Floyd can't fight forever. But then again, if you pay attention, right? All these are known facts. Mayweather cut a business deal with somebody else. That brother out the UK, he cut a business deal with the brother out the, out the UK. He cut a business deal with a brother out the UK. He's the one that's handling his business now. He cut Floyd Mayweather off. He cut Al Heyman out the deal because he was, you know, he said, well, remember when Logan Paul was suing and he was saying, well, Logan Paul need to understand how the business work. I'm still cashing checks from 10 years ago. Al, he got tired of Al Heyman holding his money like everybody else. He got tired of Al Heyman holding his money like everybody else. You 
You know what I'm saying? He got tired of Al Heyman holding his money like everybody else. And that's square biz. So what do he do? He cut Al Heyman out, hired somebody else, cut LRB out the deal, and he kept the money for himself. He probably paying them boys all the flat rate. He playing them boys all the flat rate. Listen to me. He done what 50 Cent told him to do years ago. That's cut Al, that's cut Al Heyman out the deal. That's cut Al Heyman out the deal. 50 Cent said this years ago, and I done a video on this too, where 50 Cent warned him that how does a Harvard educated man, right? How does a Harvard educated man not set you up with a business manager, with an accountant, and all them all those type of things? How does he set you up with those things? He said, what we need to do is cut Al Heyman out and go directly uh, and, and, and work directly. He told this when we told him this when he got out of jail by what was it, 2010, 11, 12, something like that, 9, 10. He told him that directly. What do Floyd Mayweather do? He wait 10, 15 years later to, to take his advice. He wait 10, 15 years later to take his advice. Come on. He wait 10, 15 minutes, minutes later to take his advice. So, like I said before, it all boils down to Mayweather not being in a deal. Um, that's what it boils down to, Mayweather not being in a deal. So now there's no incentive to get a deal done. There's no incentive. You know. So without Mayweather being in a deal, it financially doesn't make work sense for Showtime. And Mayweather got rid of Al Heyman for the most part. And start cutting his own business deals, going overseas, cutting his own deals, and getting his money directly instead of Al holding it and paying it out in increments. And that's why Floyd stopped fucking with him. So, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notification, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop video financially. Want to support the channel? Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Appreciate the love and support. Peace.